everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online. And I just found a Serpentis Vigil. Obviously, I'm going to do that considering what kind of, um, of implants can drop from a Serpentis Vigil. But I also want to make this video to show you guys uh, about the trigger spawn. That uh, when you clear the first uh, enemies too quickly, uh, this can become a little bit of a problem. So I want to try and show this to you guys now. Um, how I usually do manage to still uh, force the trigger to uh, to spawn individual so here we go obviously with the Ishtar I have a, a range script going and then I uh, can normally take care of these guys without even having to move so I just break the guards out uh, take the closest target Corellis captain at 61 kilometers and uh, start shooting him as you can see we can hit this pretty uh, pretty good yeah even even now at uh, 61 kilometers we still get four to five hits of decent uh, amounts and there we go enemy down um, another one at 62 it looks like the frigates aren't coming too quickly just yet so let's take care of that one first uh, but I'm not sure why this is but um, when you clear them out too quickly the, uh, the trigger spawn doesn't always come so what you need is from over here you need to see uh, like a battle cruiser and several uh, frigates or destroyer hulls pop in so yeah let's get started here come on is, uh, is this guy stuck because he's still at 64 yeah, he's gonna bounce off of this again or no this time he's using the magical route so let's see if I can uh, Take care of the defender here. Couple hits, that's quite alright. So usually if you're not in something like uh, like an Ishtar, you will need to travel over there. And then I think maybe the, the time it takes... Well, don't need to travel right now. The time it takes to travel back uh, can sometimes be enough. And what the hell is that one? Not green, but it's still okay. Um, could be what uh, so the time it takes to travel back could be what forces the trigger to come back maybe it's on, on something like a timer I don't know but uh, here we go just one more to take care of this is gonna be uh, pretty smooth here as always and come on boom so yeah, this is the situation I usually end up in. Um, the All the rats are gone and nothing seems to show up for me uh, to actually get the to the next room. So I can't use it. Let's uh, give it a try. But you can see gate is still locked. So let's break out some small drones here. And what seems to be working is uh, if I first go on um, with just a single Hobgoblin 2 on the first Serpentis hanger. So there he goes. Uh, that usually doesn't trigger, but once I get this guy into structure, I'll move on to the hangar where the uh, trigger needs to come from, and then I usually do get it to spawn. So I I like to take my time on this. Uh, if I go too quickly, I've already destroyed both of them without anything spawning in. So I'm not entirely sure of uh, of what the exact mechanics are. But now we've given it all the time we can. Let's uh, start hitting that one a little bit. And there they are. Here we go. So now I can quickly... Oh, actually everyone spawned in. So that's interesting. That doesn't happen every time. Sometimes I destroy this one first. Uh, because after a few shots I do go back here. Um, and, uh, and then these three don't actually spawn if you destroy this hangar before. So this is all looking pretty okay I can obviously use the hobgoblins here to take care of the rest but yeah this is this is I think what you need to know about these trigger spawns is that uh, you get to go for these serpentis hangers but you cannot rush this you need to take your time and uh, what seems to be working for me is to just use one hobgoblin too mostly take care of the left one first where uh, just a couple of freaks uh, tend to spawn you can destroy that one uh, that that shouldn't be a problem although I like to keep both of them alive as long as possible just in case uh, there would still be a problem uh, but after a few shots on the right hanger the spawn does tend to uh, to show up and uh, then you can of course quickly take care of them 
and uh, yeah then you've got a clear room so yeah just in case you know uh, when I was doing these Serpentis vigils with this Ishtar and rushing through uh, the, the first spawns that, that are over here on this weird root looking uh, asteroid um, yeah I just I wouldn't get the spawn um, if I would destroy the two hangers too quickly let's say with a full flight of five hope goblin twos nothing would show up anymore and uh, yeah you just wasted an opportunity at an awesome implant so here we go let's take care of the uh, core drug trader here as well if you want to obviously you could also drop your mobile tractor unit uh, to grab the loot but truly not worth it so that one should be going down pretty quickly come on there is structure and with this guy destroyed there you could hear it the clicking of the gate that is now free to go so yeah I, I do hope that this mechanic helps uh, this uh, just showing you guys take your time on both of these hangers try and uh, force the spawns to come in just in case you end up as what I've been doing quite a lot uh, be, pro probably because it's the Ishtar that can snipe them too quickly um, yeah this this I hope that this can help you to actually complete these vigils correctly and drop below 50 drop the sentries grab one of those towers and uh, force Tego Uriken, I think he's called, to spawn in uh, in this area. So there we go. Uh, one thing, oh, where is Tego? Let's have a look here. Tego Uriken, there he is. So, well, they're hitting another tower, so that's okay. Uh, normally, no can should have spawned from this so this is looking all right and then after that you do want to take care of uh, his escorts uh, who often are stuck here but sometimes they do find their way towards you and uh, honestly you want to take care of these because they do scram uh, so if in case you you don't want to risk getting into trouble you do want to take care of these escorters as well let's see usually they are stuck like this so uh, it's also harder because they're moving in this weird fashion for my uh, my sentries to hit it. Um, but uh, yeah, these these guys do scram, so you want to take care of them. And uh, this guy is moving in, but that should all be okay. Escorter down, loot coming in. Yeah, let's see if we're lucky or not. And here we go. No, unfortunately, no implants to be seen. But alright, it's done at least. Scoop back to cargo hold. And then if you want, of course, you can uh, kill the rest of them. Maybe loot and salvage them. But honestly, it's really the chance for the implant where the big loot is. Um, I will save this location. Uh, th this wreck should yield you tech to salvage. Uh, one problem I've seen is that my salvage drones don't seem to be able to take care of that. So I will have to come back with, uh, with a take to Salvager if I actually want that. But yeah, there you go guys. A quick look at the Serpentis Vigil and uh, everything that I have been able to find out about actually getting the trigger spawn to show up. Hope this can help you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.